Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn from the Laws of Attraction in Action. That's the Laws of Attraction in Action.com and the Laws of Attraction in Action right here on Facebook. So hopefully um, everything's jiving right because uh, it looks like I'm a little out of sync, whatever that may mean. Um, no, it looks like I'm talking and I'm a little bit out of sync. But anyway, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful um, three-day weekend. If it was a three-day, four-day four weekend, some people made it a four-day weekend. But whatever it is, I hope you're having a wonderful memorial to uh, my husband and all the others, my brother-in-laws, all the others. Um, God bless you, and I love and appreciate you for what you've done, not only for me, but for the world as I know it to be. So that being said, guys, um, today I've entitled my little talk, my little Facebook Live is, as in, no, no, I know God's got this, or I'm sure that God's got this. I'm sure that God's got this. I know, I'm sure that God's got this. So the, the, little, the little story I've, I'm, I'm about to tell, I know there are many versions out there. I know you may have heard it a hundred times, but I'm gonna tell it anyway, okay? So there was this man, he was a very spiritual man. I wouldn't necessarily say he was religious, but if that feels right to you, he was a very spiritual man. And he had his dialogue and everything going with God. He, you know, he had his network going with God. And the area that he lived in was stricken with a flood. You all know where I'm going with this now. Was stricken with a flood. And I'll just say this, this is one of my, one of my father's favorite stories, favorite parables or whatever you want to call it. My dad's always telling this particular story. But that being said, in the area that he lived, there was um, a, a tremendous flood, flooding. And the waters were rising. I mean, they were really, really rising. And this man inside his home, he realized based on how high and how fast the water was you know, rising, that um, he's gonna have to do something. So he did what he knows how to do best. He prayed, he prayed. And he said in his prayer that he's gonna trust God to rescue him. So he got out and he went on top of his roof and he sat up there and he was sitting watching the waters rise. And then he saw one of his neighbors come along and they were in a canoe. And the neighbor said to him, hey, you know, Joe, Billy Bob, you know, whatever, you know, jump into the canoe. I, you know, I'll make room for you, the wife, the kids, the dog, you know, I'll make room for you. Jump into the canoe and I will move, you know, everything over and then I'll paddle you to safety. So the guy looks at him and said, you know, John, thank you so much, but no thanks. I've prayed and I am sure he will save me. Okay, you know, Billy Bob, whoever, hey, take care. Hope, hope, hope everything works out for you. And he sits there and the water is rising and it's rising rapidly. And of course, the, the, the services come along, you know, like the police, they come along and they're, they're in a speedboat. They're in, they've got a little speedboat motor action going. Sir, we know that this entire area will be covered by water. We need you to get in the boat so that we can, you know, motor you off to safety. So he looks at them and he said, mm, thanks, but no thanks. You know, thanks, but no thanks. I've prayed to God and I'm sure he will save me. Well, he's sitting there and the waters, I mean, they're, they're high. He's already kind of like climbing up on the chimney stack. And all around him, he can see the other sort of like one story or ranch style houses or uh, bungalow style, style houses. You know, they're all covered with water and everything. And he's like, okay, all right, I'm hanging out. I, I know God's gonna rescue me, I know this. And then all of a sudden he hears <laughs> and the waters start rippling and everything and all of this jazz. And then he sees this helicopter and out of the helicopter, he hears this voice say, sir, Sir, we are going to drop a rope down. Step onto the rope, or should I say, step onto the, 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 the rope ladder and hold on with two hands and we are going to fly you to safety. Sir, do you understand the instructions? Please shake your head and let us know that you understand the instructions. You know, the helicopter rescue people, they throw down the rope 
And the guy says, no, thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. No, 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 no. It's okay. I'm good. I've prayed to God and I'm sure he will save me. Well, now this dude has to climb on top of the chimney stack and he has nowhere to go. It's either sink or swim. And unfortunately for him, he couldn't swim. So he sank. And when he sank, of course, he died. He made his transition and he went to wherever it is that you feel people go after they make their transition. So he went to the celestial realms, to the heavens. And when he got there, he had the nerve to be ticked. I mean, he was ticked. Peter met him at the gate. And he was like, hey, look, I've got an issue and I need to speak to the man in charge. I need to speak to the creator, okay? And I need to do this now. And so Peter, putting, uh, should we say, calming the waters, as it were, said, okay. So, you know, he was there, he sat for a moment and then all, all of a sudden they said, okay, um, you can go in now. And he went in and he had his audience with the creator, known to me as God, the creator of all things, known to me as God, which resides in me and you. So he went in and he sat down and he had a big attitude because for him, it was like, okay, now I'm dead. Okay, I just knew you were going to rescue me, and now I'm dead. I prayed, and I knew you were going to rescue me. All those... So he said, God, Lord, Creator, why am I here in heaven? Why am I here now? I prayed for you to save me, and I trusted you to save me from the flood. What's up with that? What happened? So there was silence for a while and God said, yes, you did. And I heard you. I heard every word you said. I sent you a canoe. I sent you a speedboat. And I sent you a helicopter. And you refused all. Now, as I said to you guys, this is one of my father's favorite, favorite, favorite parables, favorite stories, because there is so much in this story, so many spiritual things, so many metaphysical things, so many things to understand. So what I'm going to say to you is this. Number one, when you pray or you are asking the divine known to me as God, whomever your chosen deity is, Buddha, Muhammad, Elohim, uh, Jesus, whomever. When you are asking, understand that you might expect it to come a certain way or the answer to come a certain way. But understand that the creator of all sees and knows more than you do. And so therefore, in order for you to have your prayer answered in the most expedient way, or as my man says in Lean On Me, expeditiously, Morgan Friedman, that's it, expeditiously. In order for you to have whatever you want answered in the most expedient way, which is where we are mostly in life, we press a button and we, hey presto, we expect whatever to happen. This is who we are. It will come to you in ways that are not known to you, in ways that you don't think. But you see, when you have a set idea of how it must, without any flexibility, it's doomed not to go right for you, or it's doomed to take you, as we call it in England, round the houses, the long way round, the tumultuous way round, the other thing is, and I keep saying this every time I come on onto Facebook Live or any time I talk, we have this idea that everything should be as um, Jamila, hey girlfriend, as Jamila would say, cupcakes and rainbows. But life's not like that. You see, the things that you get, you know, the 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 the, the burnt toast and the this, whatever it gets, you know, the spoiled fish. Sometimes that's the most expedient way to put you in the pathway of opportunities that are yours. You know, the other day somebody said to me that um, in all that I do, God's got my back. And I said, yes, 
And I, I, I believe that. In addition to that, it's really important to understand God's got your back, but you have to make a choice. You see, if we didn't have to make a choice in life, we wouldn't have to go through like when I had my near-death experience. I saw my past life. And I had to answer for that. You see, if somebody makes choices for you, you don't have to answer. You can, hey, that actually wasn't my decision. But that's not how life goes. You are responsible for you. So with, with, with this gentleman, yes, he was a praying man. But was he praying right? The one thing that he said in this was, I'm sure. <laughs> When you're asking for God, God for anything, you need to be more than sure. When you have asked, understand that you have made a demand. In Aramaic, ask means to demand and or claim. So when he said he was sure, right there, the belief wasn't there. Right there, the true belief that he would be saved, it wasn't there. You cannot give mixed signals and expect to get what you want. And anybody who's been in a relationship, an intimate relationship or what have you, you give mixed signals, everything goes haywire. And people start saying, oh, I thought, I thought, I thought, nah, well, you know, you need to be clear. That, that gray area is something that you don't need in your life. That gray area, it opens you up to creating chaos in your life that's really going to take you down the pathway that you need to be on. So guys, when you say, I'm sure that God got this, you need to ixnay the shore and you need to just say, no, God's got this. God's got this because I have made a firm decision. I have made a commitment, okay? So that's what I wanted to share with you today. And let me just say this, for those who are scripture-based, Isaiah 55 verses 8 through 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways. This is the word of God. This is the creator's word. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts and my thoughts than your thoughts. And what this simply means when you break it down, what this means in metaphysical terms, you are here and the creator of all, spirit, God, whomever you, your, your chosen deity is there. And there's a, it's, not an, it's not a thing as higher and lower. It's a thing of the creator has an aerial view and you don't. And not having that aerial view you cannot see everything that you need to see so that you can make a choice that's going to be most expedient, which is why, which is why God sent the canoe. He sent the speed. But which is why that happened the way that it did. So understand, guys, that when you when you ask. For something whether you pray whether you affirm be sure to ask a right I'm always saying that people pray but many people don't pray right you need to pray from the end knowing that you already have it and that's not always easy given that we are um, very tactile you know our senses we have our five senses so make sure that when you pray you're praying from the end which ultimately means your prayer should be one of thanks because I have received that which I have asked for. Thank you. Even though it hasn't shown up for me. Even though in, in, in the physical, it hasn't shown up for me. Pray knowing that you have received it. Ask knowing that you have received it. And when you do this, you believe it. And when you believe it, you do, will, and have it manifest for you. You'll receive it. So guys... That's it. That's my thing for the day. And um, have a wonderful memorial. I believe it is. Yeah, well, memorial. Have a wonderful memorial uh, weekend. It's wonderful. I didn't say this at the beginning, but it's nice and hot in sunny, sunny Las Vegas. Actually, it's really getting hot. It's starting heating up. 
But have a wonderful um, weekend, the rest of your weekend. Until next time, guys. And again, make sure you understand. Peace, Jamila. Make sure you understand the power of your word. This is this a difference between I'm sure and I know. There's a difference totally and utterly. Even the vibration is different. It sends a different message. And believe me, your messages, as they say, from my mouth to God's ears, those are the messages. So on that note, guys, because I can go on and on and on, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Feel free to join the group here, The Laws of Attraction in Action, right here on Facebook. Check out the website, thelawsofattractioninaction.com. Until next time, guys. Um, Peace, take care, Elaine, take care, Ray, take care, and everybody else who's uh, tuned in. Peace. Bye, guys. Bye.